Oh, hi, I'm Liam, and I'm seven years old from second grade. So, I personally love taking care of Earth. And one of the most important ways is using renewable energy. There are lots of kinds of renewable energy, but one of the most powerful ones is solar energy. And there's a girl who thinks the same as me. She's called Debbie Tiwa. So, I'm going to quote. So, Debbie Tiwa said that everybody should be energy independent. And that is, she is right. People who are energy independent don't have to pay on the, on the power plants. So, solar panels, help that to be energy independent because the sun gives the power to solar panels which makes lights turn on and if you have a lot of them they can work your house so you don't need to play for the massive power plant so this car has solar panels and it actually works like this oh it goes go 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 adventure did you know ellen that a total of 173,000 terawatts, and terawatts mean trillions and trillions, hit the earth every day. And that's only from the sun's rays. That is 10,000 times more than the energy we use on the entire planet. So how do these solar panels work? Solar panels are made of tiny things called solar cells. The most common solar cells are made from silicon. In well, solar panel, there are two types of layers of silicon. The N-type silicon, which is full of electrons, and the P-type silicon, which, is, which has spaces for electrons called holes. You may think of light as tiny particles called, called photons. When a photon hits the n-type layer silicon, the photons knock out uh, some electron, one electron, and leave a space and leave a hole. Because the hole is has a positive charge and the electron has a negative charge, they are free to move, but they can only move one way because of the extra electrons. So, the electrons have to move to the n-type silicon. And the holes have to move to the p-type silicon. Then they go through wires called fingers and out to an output part, which in this case is this motor, which leads this and it goes. So. This is how my car works and how the solar panels work and I go very fast. Today I made this thing. It's called a solar water heater. So this solar water here acts like the greenhouse effect. If you don't know what's the greenhouse effect, it's the effect where our planet is warming up. Bye! Because we are releasing carbon dioxide, more carbon dioxide into the air. And carbon dioxide traps heat from the sun. So if there's more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide will absorb more heat from the sun. So it acts like an invisible blanket. And it's very bad. This acts like that too. Because the, here, this is how it works. So when you input water from here, the, it goes into, into these hoses right here. And then, what, and then 